Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna to be reviewing a Chevy Silverado ZR2 that is super, super unique. This one is finished in a special paint color. We'll go over that in the review. But before we get in this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Jerry Sanders Chevy here in Salt Lake for giving me some time with this truck. This particular truck is available for sale for the time being. So if you're interested, I'll include a link to the website in the description down below. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. This is the 6.6 liter Duramax V8 turbo diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It puts out 470 horsepower and then 975 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So here is what all the fuss is about. It is this green paint. This is Woodland Green. It is a special paint color. And as of me filming this video, it looks like this is the only truck in the nation that has this or the only truck for sale that has this particular paint color. It's this really dark forest green and it makes the truck look so cool. Now, of course, we've got the upgraded headlights here with this ZR2. And notice that this portion is actually black. So you just have like this cut from the green to the black on the front end. Very interesting. The whole grill's blacked out as well. And then this has the AEV package. So you've got the upgraded bumper from AEV. And when you put it all together with the green and the bumper and everything, it just looks cool. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 305, 70, 18 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, how they're all blacked out. And then you guys can see with the tires, really aggressive with the tread pattern here. And then we do have Multimatic shocks with this ZR2 HD. Really cool fender flares here. You can see the ZR2 badge there on the side and then the Duramax badge as well. And then the mirror caps blacked out. You do have cab lights with this too. And then the 2500 HD badge. And then I notice we got the fixed side steps as well as the blacked out door handles, the bedside step. And then we do have chunky leaf springs here in the back. And then again, we got the Multimatic shocks in the rear. Man, this is such a dark green color that it really doesn't pop up on camera all that much. But here's kind of like your full side profile. Let me see if I turn up the brightness for you guys, if that kind of helps out a little bit. Yeah, I think you can kind of see it more now. I don't know if I'm going too bright. Ah, now it's whitening it out. There you go. Hopefully you can kind of see the color a little bit better. Now, take a look at the key fob. We have our lock and unlock function. We got the remote start function, the tailgate drop down, and then the Chevy bow tie. And then popping into the bed, you guys can see that we've got protection from the factory. It says zero two there. This also has a ton of cover as well, which is a nice feature. And we got the outlet here in the bed as well. And then this has the multi-flex tailgate. So this also turns to a step. So it's a cool feature and lifting it up super light actually even with the multi-flex of course got the aev badge here and look at the taillights and then here maybe this is a good area to look at the color like look at this green paint it's so cool and then of course got the bumper from aev as well so putting it all together let me guys think about this truck with the build and everything but i think this thing looks pretty cool now popping inside, this is the normal ZR2 interior with all of the stitching. It's interesting to see like the neon yellow with the green. <laughs> Definitely an interesting contrast. But yeah, you've got the ZR2 seats here. Notice the storage there behind. Uh, but yeah, smaller perforations, so it's easier to clean off. And then you got more storage underneath as well. Got the cup holders here with their heated seats, USBs, all of that. And then being, you know, the bigger cab, you've got tons of space here in the back. Now, really nice trim here with the door panel, as you can see. Got all of our window controls here. Notice the front two are automatic. The mirrors do the extension out function. They also have power fold in. And then you can see you've got your memory seat function. And then 2,608 pounds of payload capacity. And then towing capacity is 18,500 on this. AEV there on the headrest. And then you can see perforated all down the center portion. And then we've got all of our Drive line select controls here, drive mode select controls as well. Uh, so advanced four-wheel drive system, two-speed transfer case. You can see the light controls there, heads-up display controls. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you can see soft touch all around. You got the darker stitching there. Radio controls on the back. We also have controls for center stack, adaptive cruise control as well. You have your turn signal slash windshield wiper stock. Then we have our column shifter here for the 10 speed. Full digital gauge cluster here, and we can scroll through to see different bits of information on systems within the truck. So pretty cool uh, setup overall with that. 
And then a really cool 360 camera. So the trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel. You also have just few points out of every single angle. Uh, really good resolution overall. And then as for the rest of the infotainment system, um, response time's great. It's easy to use. It has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, so yeah, good system. Tons of physical controls here. Uh, some big things, diesel exhaust brake, right? Tailgate drop down. Uh, you can roll down all the windows at once. And then this has a rear locking differential, a uh, hill descent control. You can see the trailer brake controls here. And then we've got heated and ventilated seats, dual zone climate as well. And then nice storage here in this space and then some cup holders. And then again, with the ZR2 trim on the center console, wireless fun charging pad as well. And then you got that nice trim on the dash as well. Even that soft touch. Then you got the double glove box here. Pretty cool. Uh, camera rear view mirror. And then we've got a power sliding rear window. And then just a regular center. So it's kind of hard to see the window sticker because of the glare. But anyways, special paint woodland green. Uh, and then again, this is a ZR2 with the AEV package. So if you're running the ZR2 Bison uh, edition, I call the AEV pa package, but it's Bison edition, 9,100 bucks um, for that. Um, but yeah, after all options, I'm seeing if there's anything that says for the paint here. Let's see, oh yeah, special paint. It's only 450 for the paint. Anyways, 98,570 is the total MSRP on this. And, well, let's sum things up. Well, it's talk about visibility, which uh, is impeded a little bit by the snow. <laughs> uh, but there's visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, both the rest of the rear, and we have 69 miles of range. Perfect. Let us set off. Uh, I don't remember, but I, I I know I've reviewed the AT4X AEV, but I don't think I've reviewed a ZR2 Bison with the HD. So I think this is my first review on this, or at least first driving review. Man, does this thing feel like a tank? You know what's weird is, so I've, I've been living with this GMC AT4X for the week. Um, and you guys can see it right there. It also has the AEV package on it. I don't know what it is, but I like the Chevys more. I think the Chevy just, you know, I, I know some people like the GMC styling more. Some people like Chevy styling more. I think I like the Chevy styling more with this specific package, the Bison package. And then I definitely like this interior more. It's not as like luxury as the GMC, but just taking it slow. Uh, but I, I think that the seats are more comfortable, like the bolstering's more open and all of that, and and how the dash is shaped. I don't know, it's just a, I like it more. And, and the interior being a lighter color, I think it's cool too. Kind of makes the interior feel a little bit more open. But don't get me wrong, that truck there's cool, drives well. But I think I'd go Chevy. Anyways, so far, drives well in the parking lot. <laughs> Oh, good torque. Man, pretty comfortable for an HD truck. I've never been like, a huge fan of uh, HD trucks myself, to be honest. Because, you know, I understand the capability part of them, but like outside of if you need the capability, it's like, yeah, they usually don't drive all that well, but this trip's pretty well. We're actually setting off, driving on the road. It's pretty dang comfortable. I mean, you do still get some of that, you know, bumpiness that you get with HD trucks. It's not as comfortable as a half ton. It's not bad. It's so cool. I don't know what it is. The green just works really well. It's it's not too bright. So it's, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't overwhelm your eyeballs. Yeah, great torque out of this engine. Ooh, GoPro's almost bouncing off my head. <laughs> Let's see what it does over the train tracks here. Yeah, it's comfy. That truck is driving like more. He was like going over into my lane and then brake. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe it's because it's merging here and he's like trying to do a power move. He's like, you're not gonna get in front of me. I wasn't trying, buddy. I wasn't trying. I was just driving, driving in my own lane. Torque is so good with this engine. It's smooth too. 
So summing, thing up, summing things up with this beast of a pickup truck, I think that it's comfortable. It drives really well. A little bit of a bump here and there. It's not bad though. Um, I don't have anything bad to say about this truck. It, it's it's really this is a really cool HD truck and this special paint color. I like it. I think that it works. It's not, if it was like brighter green, I, I don't think it would work. But since they went for like a nice dark green, it, it, it it's good. And then you know at night, some people. I mean, it's green enough that you're always gonna know it's green. But maybe if you just see this at night, you might just be like, oh, it's a just a darker colored vehicle, right? You won't you won't necessarily realize it's green. So it's it's pretty cool if you ask me. Let me know what you guys think about the ZR2 Bison. Let me know what you guys think about this special green paint. Um, but I think this is one of the coolest paint colors on a truck. And it happens to be on one of the coolest trucks ever made. Uh, for HD trucks, again, it is, you do give up a little bit with payload, but I mean, even though this has less payload than your average HD Silverado, it's got more than a Ram. <laughs> That's for sure. So it's still a really capable truck. Capable and cool. Let me know what you think.